In this lecture snippet, I will be going through the process of looking at the master file table record of a file from a Windows computer. And so what I have is a Windows hard drive plugged in from a Windows computer. And I'm going to go ahead and just show you that file by using the uh, file explorer within Ubuntu. And I'll go ahead and see, I can see the 64 gigabyte hard drive here. And I'll go ahead and mount that by clicking on it. And then I saved it on the desktop of my user. So I'm going to go to users folder and I'm going to find the user that I had it on and go to the desktop directory. And I'll find I have two different files here, and both of these files I'm going to be using within the next few videos. This one here, findme.rtf, is the one I'm going to focus in on right now. And if I right-click on it and go to properties, I can see it's a very small text file. It's 256 bytes. And so if I open it up, I can actually see what the text is in this particular file itself. And I can see this is a really small file that I created for lecture snippets. So it is a very basic small file, but I'm going to find some of the information stored in an NTFS partition and in the master file table itself regarding this file. So I'm going to go ahead and unmount it. And I've got a terminal pulled up here. And I'm going to go ahead and just type in the sudo fdisk l because I want to see how this hard drive that 64 gig hard drive from Windows is actually registered as a device for the operating system and you can see right here is at the very end I have an NTFS partition the device is SDB1 so that's the one I'm going to focus in on for my hex editor to be able to view the hexadecimal information so that I can actually see the MFT record so I'm going to go ahead and type in clear and the command that I want to use is sudo hexedit so I do have hexedit installed I'm going to do the dash S for the sector view, and then I'm going to do the forward slash DEV forward slash SDB1. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And I know it's the right partition because it does say NTFS on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do some searching. Now I want to search for the file called findme.rtf. And if I look down here, I went ahead and converted it over to a hexadecimal values. And between those hexadecimal values, I put in sets of zeros. So for the capital F, I have the 46, and then a set of two zeros. And then the I, I have a 69, and then two zeros. Because usually when it, when it writes the file name for the master file table, it has those sets of zeros between each one of those letters. So if I search by hexadecimal, I can find it a lot easier. And also, I put on that example of the other file that I had there because I want to show you a file with spaces in it. And I've got find, and then I've got a space. And so what I did was 46, you'll see the 69, you'll see the 6E for the N, and then you'll see the 64 for the D. And then when it comes to that space here after the word find, you'll notice that I have a set of zeros because every one of these are filled in with zeros between the letters. And then also I have a 20, which is the hexadecimal value for the space and then I go back to the zeros and then I finally start the word me so if you're doing search for words with spaces in it you'll need that 20 in there to represent that space so this is I'm gonna go ahead and use this string and I'll just go ahead and copy that and then I'm gonna come over here and use a forward slash and I have to right click and paste it and then I'll go ahead and search for that string so it'll go through this process of actually looking for this file and now it actually found something here and you can see where it says find me this is not the MFT record that I'm looking for what I want to look for is where it says offset 00, zero. it says the MFT file begins with the word file and it, basically what I'm looking for is the word file usually it's going to start up here on the left hand side somewhere in this area and I can usually do a page up and I'm going to go ahead and do a page up now page up and then a page back down and if I don't see the word file in all caps then I know that I'm in the wrong spot so I'm just going to hit the forward slash and hit enter again and I'm going to keep doing that until I eventually come to the spot where I can see that word file and so I actually had to search about seven or eight times researching seven or eight times to find the actual location that I'm looking for and what I'm going to look for when I found the find me which is the name of that file is this word file and you can see it really big up here and so usually when you do get a search result returned, if you do a page up, you can kind of look to see if you can see this file anywhere. And if you don't find it, keep searching until you see this big word file, which is the beginning of my master file table record. And you can see right here, MFT record begins with file. This is offset 00. 
And so now that I have the file pulled up, let's go ahead and take a look at this MFT record. And I'm going to be looking at specifically just the header information for it, so the very beginning of this. We can see that I have offsets over here. Now offsets are going to be how far it is from the beginning in this case. So offset 00, zero basically at the very beginning, we're going to see the word file, which I've already mentioned. And that's what indicates that it is going to be an MFT record. Now if I come down here a little further, I see it offset 14. Now this is a hexadecimal offset. So if I were to go off hexadecimal 14, and I put in parentheses the decimal value is 20. I need to go 20 spots over from the beginning. So this will be 1, 2, 3, and then keep going all the way across. What I'm eventually going to get to is this 3.8 that I have here, and I'll go ahead and highlight that. And that'll be 20 spots over, or an offset of 1.4. And that is going to indicate the length of the MFT record header. So that's basically going to tell me how large this header is that I'm going to be working with and seeing in this file. And if I look at the 38 value, and I'm going to convert it over to decimal, it is a value of 56. And now 56 is how many bytes it's going to be. So we need to convert that hexadecimal 38 over to a 56 and it will tell me that it is 56 bytes long in length, which means this header is going to consist of 56 of these sets of numbers in hexadecimal, and it is 56 bytes long. And so that's what I've highlighted there for you to show you. Also, I want to point to at offset 1C to 1F, so 1C to 1F, and I've got it highlighted right there, that's going to be 28 to 31 spots over. That's going to tell me the size of the master file table record. Now most of these files are going to be consistent with the length of the MFT record as well as the size of the MFT record. You typically will see a 38 for the length and then for the size of the record itself you typically will see this set of zeros, the 040000, and that's standard. And let me explain to you what that means. That's in little endian format so I'm going to need to convert that over to a hexadecimal value. So in hexadecimal it's going to be hexadecimal 400 or 400. And if I were to convert that hexadecimal number over to decimal, it'd be 1024. Now a sector is 512 bytes, so what this is telling me is that the master file table record is going to be two sectors in size, or 1024 bytes. And so, and so we've been able to successfully find the master file table record. We've been able to look at the header information and been able to determine the size of the header as well as the size of the master file table record itself. And in the next few videos, I'm going to look at some of the attributes for this particular record in the master file table.